Hey guys, so I am doing another clean check today uh, for a dentist where I'm helping design this plan. So if you have a look, uh, we've got severe deep bite, we've got uh, class one molars, but class two canines and upper art spacing. Uh, but majority of the issue is the deep bite and the overjet, and you've got really retroclined lower incisors. So one other thing is aligners are very good at incisor retraction. So if you don't watch your incisor angulation at the end, you will get some sort of um, uh, retraction, you know. So you have to really build in what we call lingual or palatal root torque. So if you see the incisor angulation here, it is fantastic. This is how I want to finish a lot of my ideal class one cases. Now this is a growing child. So we're doing uh, a lot of leveling of curve of as you see here. We are extruding. Uh, his uh, posteriors in the lower arch and intruding the anteriors in the lower arch. So there is that leveling of the curve of spine. I'm not a big fan of any optimized attachments. I go for conventional as they work really well. And another tip is uh, for this kid, he wasn't a class two to begin with. So you see he's got class one molars, but I've added elastic cuts. And uh, perhaps we can make the child wear really light elastics at night to help with that anterior retraction. So just some light elastic, to be honest, I think it'll work even without him wearing any rubber bands. So same thing here, the rubber band will just put a bit of traction and what it'll do, it'll also allow a lower incisor labial movement, the labial tipping. So I have put them to be used sparingly. And you look at that palatal root torque. Now we don't get all of this. Uh, the inaccuracy of a clean check is nearly half uh, when predicting or achieving a palatal root torque. So you're probably not gonna end up with incisors like that. You're gonna end up halfway somewhere there, but I'm really liking this setup. So yeah, this is a, a big uh, yay, yay. Okay, thanks for watching.